Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good morning Adikul Rabi Susi Today my group will present about bioethanol production from rice straw So this is my group member Muhammad Rushaidi, Nur Aini Nazira and Nur Hazira and myself is Fatih Hadra Next is what is rice straw? Rice straw is a rice byproduct produced when uh, harvesting padi and each kg of millet rice produce result in roughly 0.7 to 1.4 kg of rice. Rice straw depending on the variety, cutting height of the stubbles and moisture content during harvest. And rice straw is separated from the grains after the plants are threshed either manually using stationary threshers or more recently by using combined harvesters. And rice straw as a lignocellulosic biomass is comprised of three components which are lignin, cellulose and hemicellulose so I will pass to my next presenter is Hazira okay, thank you Fatin so I will continue with the characteristic of rice straw so basically rice straw is contain a high cellulose and hemicellulose that we can uh, easily hydrolyze that into a fermentable sugar. So as we can see here, this is the carbohydrate composition um, for the rice straw. And the main constituent is cellulose, which consists of 28.6%, followed by hemicellulose, um, economic and also the theoretical and The approximate composition and selected major elements of ash in the rice straw. So actually here we are comparing uh, the composition of rice straw, rice hulls and the wheat straw. Okay. So um, you can see the percentage of uh, fixed carbon is actually the lowest in the rice straw. But then the volatile matter and also the ash is slightly higher because if you can see here the wheat straw it just contains like 7.0 percent but then rice straw consists of 18.67 and then for the elemental composition of ash based on this uh, percentage so we subdivided them so um, you can see here this is the percentage uh, contained in the rice straw which we focus on so you can see uh, it consists of silicon oxide 74.67 and followed by the other percentage so I think that's all. So I will turn over this presentation to Ani Nazira. Tiga. So uh, I will sorry. You will continue. <laughs> okay. Okay. I will continue uh, on the availability of rice straw, which is the the cultivation of rice straw result in two types of residue such as straw and husk. Um, and both of them are having attractive potential uh, in terms of energy. Although the technology of rice husk utilization is well established worldwide, rice straw is sparingly used as a source of renewable energy. <clears throat> One of the main reasons for the preferred use of husk is its easy procurement. However, the collection of rice straw is difficult and its availability is limited to harvest time. So we can jump to the conclusion. There are, I will I'll call one <laughs> our group member. Yeah. Okay, I will proceed with the conclusion. Um, rice straw sources are high and should be utilized fully and efficiently because production of bioethanol from the rice straw are crucial for energy use in the future since uh, mineral fuels and gases is decreasing nowadays. So uh, using rice straw is very um, is neat to for se securing our future. That's all from us. Thank you. Next. Nice.